So it's pretty rainy and wet outside, so today I thought, finally, I'm going to go through my main three shelves in my collection. So we'll go from the top, work our way down. You've got bits and bobs, ammonites, and then my bigger pieces. Uh, so we'll run through and I'll show you exactly what I've got. About 90% of these pieces I have found myself, some I have bought, some I was given, um, but we'll go from the top. So up here we have all my cut and polish pieces, all these have been done by Mark Kemp, which you would have seen in a previous video, uh, bit of wood, fish bone. Now I polish this bit myself, holdness find, lovely bit of coral, I do look nice as paperweights, uh, fern from Sands End. Echinoid from the Holdness, uh, John Coza, Fossil Adventures gave me that speeding shrimp. I am still yet to farm my own. Uh, a bit of Stig from Berniston. Uh, this is my first ever bit of Ichthyosaur bone I found, which is a nice rib there. Very pyritic. It does need preparing a bit further, but yeah, lovely Ichthyosaur rib. Um, my little Bella starts with a C something <laughs> leaf from Solwick. Uh, a bit of Ice Age bone. Which is like an ankle bone from a deer, which I got from Spurn, um, a big bell and night, lovely bit of wood, Fragmacomb, Gastropod, that was a holdness find. Don't find many of them. It could do a polish in that, it would look quite nice. But that was in a, it was in an Androg block. Um, my other piece of it that you saw, uh, it's two bones, two sorry, two ribs, a rib there and a rib there. See all the bone there. Again, it's very pyritic and Poorly preserved, but hey ho, but that is from Runswick. Uh, some Scunthorpe sponges, different types of sponges, like a, it's like a tube. They are quite cool. A uh, bit off my fish block, which you'll see in a bit. Um, I've got that off Mark Kemp. Big piece of vert and a little bit of bone. And then Chris Cohen actually gave me that bit. Which is a cut and polish bell night block with some little grass aisles in. So that is more of my, my bits and bobs um, shelf. I am going to add loads of bits on here. I've got loads of little bits to get through. Need to get some little boxes as well. Put some boxes out. But that's my bits and bobs shelf. So this is now the second shelf, which is probably my favourite shelf, which has all my ammonites on. All my best specimens of ammonites. So we'll run through that. Have a look at all the species. So from the back, going from left to right, we start with a little tiny little Paltech, which I got from the Holdness, with a nice pseudo from Saltwick, and a double pseudo from Ravenscar. That one is a bit crushed, but it's lovely to find a double. And a little Amoraceros from the Holdness, then probably my favourite Ammonite on the shelf, and one of my rarest, uh, Lytosaurus. I do have another two to prep, but I think this one by far is my favourite. You can see all the ribbing. The sutras are just... Stunning. My favourite ammonite. <laughs> um, an Asti from uh, Olbra. There's a nice Zugo back here. I do have another Zugo uh, on the bottom shelf. But that one is lovely. I've got a nice Grammo. Um, double Arnie, which I've recently prepped from my last trip to the Holdness. Um, I think this one is, is a Podoceros. As far as I remember, it's not all there. Again, Raven Scar. Really thick. The spines. I didn't think it was even going to be that much of it, to be honest. So I'm quite happy with how that came out. Uh, tiny little grammar there. We've got some speeton, speeton material. Little speeton ammonites. That one is stunning. You don't usually find these with centers, so they're always worth keeping. Very brittle. I mean, look at that. It's just a stunning ammonite. Um, my first ever Hildoceros from Saltwick. Colours on that are lovely. It was sat out the block like that. That's an absolutely lovely ammonite. Took a lot of time to prep it. I just went really slow. And we've got a little Ellie block there from Sands End. Another little Grammo. Nice little single. See, it was really worn on the back, but did prep out from that side. Um, and then I can't remember the name of this one. Uh, Neil did tell me on the Facebook group, and I got that from Sands End. I originally thought it was just a DAC, but it wasn't. <laughs> um, my little Pleuro, again, I've just recently prepared. That was from Olbra. And then we get onto some of the bigger stuff on the shelf. Lovely Hildy. Although it was in shale, 
you can see it all there. It was in shale, it was absolutely battered when it came out. I took it out in, I think, about 14 or 15 pieces, because there's three or four pieces there. But that is just a beast. <laughs> so that's my, that's my second biggest. Uh, you got my Eugocicerus. I'm going to pick that one up from the Holdness. Um, another very rare piece, this. Double Hildy. Both got knackered centres, but you don't complain when you get a double Hildy like that. Another Raven Scar find. A lot of my rarest stuff seems to come from Raven Scar. That is a lovely, lovely block. One of the best in, on the shelf. A yeah, nice little cut and polished DAC from Mark. Again, you can't get bored of them. <laughs> uh, another Zugo, which is from Port Mulgrave. Double Peronoceros, which is one of the first preps I did, so it, it's not the best. And then my big Saltwick Hildy. So they're all my like main Ammonites on the shelf. There are some absolutely lovely specimens here, and I have got plenty to add. Um, colours are just lovely. But yeah, I've got plenty to add, so hopefully we take this shelf, put it on the top, and then get another shelf full of ammonites. Yeah, that's the ammonite shelf. So going from the back, uh, I bought that off Mark, which is a, I believe is a Burton Bradstock piece. I can't remember the name of the species, but it's a stunning ammonite, and I just I had to get it. It is a lovely block. Then you've got my big Jarrostius block from the Holdness. Again, I got this one from Zanzen that Mark prepped for me. Lovely Elegantisaurus in nice pyrite nodule. Another one on top there, but <laughs> that's lovely. Um, well, that wanted to open. So in here we have one of my favourite Dax specimens, which is a Semisolatum, which is an absolutely lovely specimen. Lives in uh, Mark's box, <laughs> which my mum got for me. But yeah, absolutely lovely specimen. I, I haven't found one myself. I don't know how, but that lives in there. I've just cleared that up, um, and then on top of that lives my Tenica Stam I got from Sanzen last time I was there. It's not the best, but again, the only one I've really got through, so it's on here at the moment. Um, then next to that we have my lovely Hildy. Got from Salt Organizer with Drew. I mean, that just, when that split, I did apologise to Drew because she hadn't found much on the day. And I did say to her, I'm, so, I'm sorry how lucky I was. But that's a lovely Ammonite. Um, got a little, I believe a baby Pleuro. Which from the Holdness. It's a stunning little Ammonite, that. It is lovely. Colours on it with all the shells. Uh, you've then got a pre-knackered block, which I did just do a rough prep on. But that's a Philo. That's an Ellie, there's another Ellie, that's a Harpo, there's a Grass Isle and another Ellie. So that is a lovely little block full of all sorts, just need to finish prepping it. Um, my only full 3D Philo, which is from the Holdness, I found that on the ramp at Olbra. It's a lovely little Ammonite, but I mean the Outer World was out here, so it has been a lot bigger. Did just smooth it off to create a mouth border. Could do with polishing again, but it does look lovely. I got my fish, which I purchased. Uh, there's a Scottish fish there, I'll get out. There's a nice big androg there. Again, it was from the Holdness in a big block. Uh, Cleviceris, which again is the only one I have. Then my Harpo, which is from Port Mulgrave, which I got last year, which is a lovely ammonite. I do have another one I'm currently prepping, which I picked up from Kettle Ness. That's a lovely ammonite. Then down here we have an Arnie from Scunthorpe. From that more softer layer. And a lot of these don't usually have centres. So that's a lovely little piece. There's the Scottish fish. Sat in the back. You can just see the fish there. See his little mouth. And then a load of scales littered all over the block. Uh, there's also a Gristhorpe Ammonite, which Chris gave me, because I, I haven't been yet, um, and I, I know they're not the easiest to find. But that is the bottom shelf. So that is just a little look of what's in the cabinet. I do have a lot more stuff coming, and I will be collecting end of the month. I think I've got another three days, so there will be plenty more going in there. Uh, plenty of pieces I've got to prep. got a really nice double DAC, which you would have seen on 
Facebook, if you do follow me on Facebook, uh, which is really, really nice. And a nice Peronoceros as well, which will be definitely in there because I don't really have a nice specimen. I have that double, but it's a bit knackered. But yeah, I will be up at the end of the month for a couple more days collecting. Hopefully get some more nice pieces. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, I know this has only been short, but if you did enjoy, please do like and subscribe. Um, again, the numbers are going up and up and up. So I'm very, very, very happy. And thank you so much. Um, the giveaway video will be coming out in maybe a week. I've given it around a month, so plenty of time for people to enter. Uh, so that will be coming out soon. So do comment on all the videos if you do want to enter. Um, and hopefully you win it. So thank you guys for watching.